Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 4. And this part is aimed to check a students' progress or a students' understanding of the whole lesson. Let's start working on the question. In question one, it says, here is a digital clock, which is showing 1707, or we can say 507 in the afternoon. Now it is asking what time is the same as that shown on the clock. So the times are given here. We have 707 a.m., 707 p.m., 507 a.m., 507 p.m. Although this one is exactly showing 5 or 7, but it is not in the morning. This one over here, the AM shows this is in the morning. But the one which is exactly showing the same time is 5 or 7 p.m. Or 7 past 5 p.m. Question 1 is solved. In question 2, it says, write quarter to 12 in the morning as a digital clock. Quarter to 12, what does it mean by quarter? To show a quarter, I will draw a clock, an analog clock here. In this analog clock, we can divide it into four parts. Each part is showing 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, it's called one quarter. It's called one quarter. So when the time here, for example, if the time here is showing 1.15, 1.15, then we can say it is quarter past, fifth, past one. It is quarter past one. Or if the time is on this area, for example, the time is, uh, let's say the time is 4.45, it is quarter to five. 4.45 is quarter to 5 because it means 15 minutes left to be 5 o'clock. Now, because it says quarter to 12 in the morning, we can show it in two different ways in digital clock. One of the ways is writing 11.45 a.m., which is a 12-hour clock. If we don't write a.m. or p.m., we just write 11.45 then it shows that this is 11.45 in the morning because we don't have a.m. or p.m., so it is in the morning. If it was in the evening or in the afternoon time, it would be 23.45. 23.45, because it is 11.45 and it does not have any a.m. or p.m., it means it is in the morning. Well, we are done with question two as well. In question three, it says, here are five times, 6.45 a.m., 10 minutes to 8, 15.30, 9.30 a.m., quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. Again, it's asking, which time is the odd one out? How do you know? Which time is the odd one out? If we look closely, this one is showing morning time. This one here also shows morning. This one, we are not sure if it's in the morning or in the afternoon because it says 10 minutes straight. It does not specify. And this one also, we don't know if it's in the morning or in the afternoon. But the one which is showing the time in the afternoon is 3, 3.30 or 15.30. And the other reason why this one is the odd one out, we can write, is that 15.30 is the only, is the only 24 hour, the only 24 hour digital, 24 hour digital clock. The only 24 hour digital clock. So the one which is odd one out is 15.30, one of the reasons this is specifically showing the time in the afternoon. And the other reason, this is the only one which is a 24-hour digital clock. Well, 
Question 3 is also solved. Let's move to question 4. Let me scroll down a bit. In question 4, it says, what are the missing numbers? What are the missing numbers? Part A is 60 months equal to how many years? Equals to how many years? You know that one year, one year is equal to 12 months. 12 months. So 1, 12 is 12, 2, 12 is 24, 3, 12 is 36, 4, 12 is 48, and 5, 12 is 60. 5, 12 is 60. So 60 months equal to 5 years. It is equal to 5 years. Why? Because 5 times 12 is equal to 60. Because 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 5 is 5. And 5 plus 1 is 6. Which is showing 60 months. In part B it says 72 hours equals how many days? 72 hours equals how many days? To know the answer or to find the answer for this question, we have to know how many hours are there in one day. One day is 24 hours. 24 hours. Again, we know that 224 is 48 and 3 times 24 is 72. So 72 hours is equal to 3 days. We can easily find it out. 3 times 24 will be equal to 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 1, which is carried, is 7. And it shows 72 hours. In part C, it says 84 days equals how many weeks? 84 days equals how many weeks? Again, we can count it or we can multiply uh, the number of days by 7 and find out how many weeks will be there. Or we can divide 84 by 7. 84 by 7. 1 times 7 is 7. We will have a remainder of 1. We bring down 4. 2 times 7 is 14. So we will have 0 as the remainder. So it will be equal to 12 weeks. 84 days will be equal to 12 weeks. Good. We are done with question 4. Let's now move to question 5. In question 5, it says, Bruno leaves school at 10 past 3. At 10 past 3. He arrives home at 10 to 4. At 10 to 4, how long does it take him to get home? 10 past 3. Let me scroll down a bit so that I should have a space on the right side here. If we have a timeline like the one here, the starting point is 10 past 3. We can write 310. And the arriving time at home is 10 to 4, means 3.50. 10 to 4 is 3.50. So now, if we look, 3.10 to 3.30 is equal to 20 minutes. 20 minutes. In 3.30 to 3.50, 30, 40, 50, another 20 minutes. Then 20 plus 20 will be equal to 40 minutes. 40 minutes. So for question 5, which says how long does it take him to get home? It is 40 minutes. The answer is 40 minutes. Because from 310, or it says 10 plus 3 is 310 here. And 10 to 4 is 350. 10 to 4 is 350. So it is taking 20 minutes to get home. Well, in question 6 we have... In question 6 it says, use the calendar to answer these questions. The calendar is the month of November. 
we have part A, B, and C, and also D that should be answered based on this calendar, which is for the month of November. So in part A, it says, what day is 13 November? What day? It can be Monday, it can be Tuesday, whatever day is showing 13 November, and that is the day that we have to write here. So 1st of November is on Wednesday. So if we go on until 13, 13 is here. So 13 November is Monday. It is Monday. In part B, again, it says, what is the date of the first Friday in the month? The first Friday. Again, if we start from the one, which is on Wednesday, the first Friday is three. So the answer here is three. The first Friday of November is three. Part C says, what is the date of the first Sorry, what is the date of the last Saturday of the month? Last Saturday of the month. So if we go on Saturday is all in this column. So the last Saturday of the month is 25. So the answer for part C is 25. The date of the last Saturday of the month is 25. In part B it says, the, sorry, in part D it says, the gym club meets on the first and third Wednesday. On the first and third Wednesday. We know that the first Wednesday is the first of November and the third Wednesday is 15th of November. So the answer for this is 1 and 15. The first and the third is 1 and 15. Okay, we are done with question six. Let's scroll down to move to question seven. In question seven, it says, the timetable shows the television programs one morning. Again, we have two parts here, part A and part B, that should be answered based on this television times table. In part A, it says, Gimo turns the television on at 7.45 a.m. At 7.45 a.m. How long does she have to wait for the weather program? For the weather program. The first weather program starts at 7.55. 7.55. But she turns on the television at 7.45. So she has to wait for 10 minutes. From 7.45 to 7.55, it takes her 10 minutes. So she has to wait for 10 minutes. In part B, it says, the travel program lost 10 minutes. What time does it finish? So we should find out what time the travel program starts. It starts at 8.45. 8.45. And it lasts for 10 minutes. And it lasts for 10 minutes. So what time does it finish? It finishes 7, 8.45 to 8.55. So it finishes at 8.55. It finishes at 8.55 because it takes only 10 minutes. Well, question seven is also solved. Let's move to question eight. Let me scroll a bit down. In question eight, it says, Use the bus timetable to answer the questions that follow. So the stations are Old Castle, Didlington, and Lanford. These are the buses that move from this station at specified times. So we have three follow-up questions for this. The first question, which is question A, says, How long does it take to travel from Old Castle to Didlington. How long? We can answer this question based on any of the buses that moves from Old Castle. So let's work on the first one which moves at 7 or 9. I will use a timeline over here. I will draw the line. 
the bus moves at seven at seven or nine or nine past seven and arrives at Diddlington at seven twenty one. Seven twenty one. You know that from seven nine to seven ten to seven ten it's one minute. It's one minute. From seven ten to seven twenty. 720 it's 10 minutes and from 720 to 721 it's again one minute one minute plus one minute is two minute and two minute plus 10 minute is 12 minutes so now to answer this one we will write 12 minutes it takes the bus 12 minutes to go from old castle to diddling town well in part B, it says, how long does it take to travel from Old Castle to Lenford? From Old Castle to Lenford. Again, to answer this, it's better to draw the timeline uh, because the bus, we will work on this bus, which is the first one. All the buses take the same time to reach from one station to another one. So the bus from Old Castle moves at 7.09 at 7.09 and arrives at Lenford at 7.44 at 7.44 the same way from 7.09 to 7.10 to 7.10 it's one minute and from 7.10 to 7.30 or even we can go further from 7.10 to 7.20 7.30 7.40 to 7.40. Each one is 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and this one is 4 minutes. 4 minutes. Now, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 4 is 34. And 34 plus 1 is 35. It takes the bus to move or to go from Old Castle to Lenford is 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Okay. 35 minutes. Well, part B is also done. In part C, it says, what is the latest bus you can catch in the old castle if you want to be in Diddlington by 3.30 p.m.? By 3.30 p.m. To find the answer for this, we should see which bus arrives before 3.30. Before 3.30, which is very close to 3.30. This one is very far. This one is also far. This one is also far. This one is 1.24. And this is the one that arrives at Diddlington by 3.25 or 15.25. So the latest bus that a person can take to be by 3.30 at uh, at Diddlington is 3.13, or we can write 15.30, which is this bus that moves at 3.13 and arrives at Diddlington at 3.25. This is all about the last part of Unit 2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 4. I hope it helps you learn how to use the timetable how to use the time interval and how to estimate or how to measure the time between two time intervals. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates and also with your students. Have a nice time and thank you so much.